So this is our optional fuel filter delete block. Uh, this delete block is designed to eliminate the factory engine mounted fuel filter, um, especially if you're converting to one of our new uh, dual fuel filter conversion kits that moves your filter and water separator to the rear of the truck. Uh, this will allow you to eliminate the factory plastic housing and still maintain all 100% factory lines. Uh, it is optional. When you do the conversion kits, uh, you can leave the factory filter mounted on the engine, uh, all kinds of options. You can leave it there as an additional filter, uh, which is actually not a bad idea. Uh, or you can pull the filter out, just screw the cap back on and leave it as a empty canister. Fuel will still flow through that though. So if you're wanting to remove that filter housing, uh, this block will allow you to do that. Again, like I said, factory fuel line connections, unlike most of the delete blocks that are on the market, actually all of the delete blocks as far as I know, uh, just simply is a block that allows the factory steel return lines to mount back in both locations on either side of the block and eliminates all the factory lines. So that works well if you're doing an aftermarket pump that connects directly to your injection pump. So if you're leaving the factory pump in the tank and doing a conversion kit like what we offer, you need some way for the fuel to still travel through the factory lines. So this allows that to happen. Uh, factory line coming from the tank clips into this fitting. The factory line that goes to the CP3 or CP4 connects to this fitting. It's a hundred percent drop in. So on this delete block, uh, we have the factory 12 millimeter quick connect that connects to the factory line going to the CP3 or CP4. And then we have a half inch here that connects to the factory fuel line that comes up along the frame rail coming from the tank. This installs super easy. Remove the factory plastic filter housing. Obviously you disconnect the lines, disconnect the whiff sensor. After you remove that plastic housing, make sure that you remove the aluminum mounting plate that that attaches to. So you will be down to the bare engine block. This will mount directly to the engine block using the bolts that we provide. Install that, the water and fuel sensor that you've unplugged, that can be zip tied out of the way. Um, you won't be using that in your delete block. As the fuel is traveling through the delete block, there's no need to have the water and fuel sensor there as any water droplets or molecules that's going through here are gonna go right past the water and fuel sensor and won't trigger it anyways. So if you guys have any questions again, let us know. Thanks for watching.